all my similims. This is Phantom Celebi, and it's been a while since we've been in this apartment, but we are now back with the Left Brain Right Brain Challenge. And just a reminder how this goes. We work we play as both the left and the right brain. We do left and right brain related things, and whoever is the winner is the person who will be in control of Keith's life and will have complete uh, reign in saying the left or the right brain is better. So let's see how lefty's doing. Hey, left. What you doing? Just thinking. Like, just thinking. Gotta be logical. Let's get logical. Logical. Okay. Talking about which, um... I have to max out his logic skill still, so... Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think I put a, uh... Chess set in here. Unlike the other household, I did do that. I, I'm pretty sure about that. The other household that I'm working on, which is the, uh, other challenge that I was doing, which was the not so berry. Um, I guess I didn't really think about that. I mean, I guess he could go out and place chess outside, but I don't know. I kind of feel like he should have a chess set here. Like, maybe we could put it on the fire escape. Like, before when I had this house, I had, like, a grill and all that out here, but I mean, like, that's kind of silly for... Like, I, I guess it maybe could still work. Like, we could have the, like, the little grill like I had before. Like, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think anyone really saw my Shooting Star series. Well, barely anyone. But, like, in Shooting Stars, I had a grill, like, right over here. And, like, Shooting Stars was the original series I worked on with me and Jeff. I haven't even done Shooting Stars in forever. Because, like, I've been doing so many other things. And I might go back to doing it. Because, I mean, like, I did actually like the idea of my sim having his, her life. And, like, Jeff and me having kids together. And it was, it was cute. It was very nice. But, like, I noticed that, like, like, nobody really watched it. But more people watch these other things that I make. Which is kind of sad, but it's whatever. Maybe someday I will get a little bit of motivation to do it again. Okay, so... Let's see. Um, I think it would be under recreation. Or possibly not. Oh, I'm dumb. It's under knowledge. Okay, so... Let's see. Should I make put it here? I mean, like, I could put it here. And then, like... Put a chair there. Let's see. Um... Comfort. Put a chair there and like I'll put a plant there so it doesn't look like a weird spot. Okay, decorations. I mean like this probably is, is gonna be a awkward um place well uh awkward setup for this. But, like, I, I kind of want to, like, make it so that he doesn't have to, like, run off to the park to do normal things. And, let's see. Um, I do still want to have a barbecue out here because I, I feel that cooking is a good way to increase creativity in anybody. And if we're going to go for a right brain and a left brain... 
I'm pretty sure the right brain's going to want to do more creative stuff, like cooking, painting, etc. I might make them go to Starbucks at some point. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it in this episode, because, I mean, like, I barely have people go to Starbucks. Um, let's see. We could put it right here. That's a good spot for the grill, at least I think so. And maybe I'll put like two little chairs here since like this area isn't very big. I used to have like tables and stuff out here, but I want to make sure that it looks like there's enough space. So maybe I'll put like I like two benches maybe or an easel. Ooh, 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 easel, easel has to, I mean, I used to have my sim do painting out here. So, like, they could barbecue this way, and then, um, they'd go back into activities. We'll get an easel. Because that would be under creativity, right? Burr, 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 burr. Get creative. <sighs> I always do these things at night, so. Excuse me if I, I yawn. And cause you to have a yawn fit. And then you hate me because I made you yawn! Because it's just like a reflex or something. And I mean, like, I, f I feel like I picked the best place for them to be. Because, like, this totally feels like it's a good mix of left and right brain. I mean, like... The left brain can go to the Starbucks over there. The right brain can just, like, hang out at the festival and just smell the flowers and all that. And I, I can imagine that. It's, like, it's just a cute, very cute area. Um, let's find a nice, comfy chair for them to sit in. Okay. Um... I haven't seen any of the things um, for Get Famous just yet because I don't want to be spoiled. But I would imagine it has some really nice stuff that I can put in the city. I mean, who knows? Hmm. Is this is this good? Is it, I'm not sure. No, I I liked it over here though, cause like they could look out to the city to actually get like reference photos and all that. Um. This challenge is still gonna be very uh, very new. Maybe I'll put this over here and then turn this and put it like that. Maybe that'll make it easy. Because I feel like because of uh, the location of these chairs that left is going to have a hard time getting to this um, this chess table. But we'll see. Okay, so I mean hopefully he won't. Let's have him play chest. So how you doing, Rady? He wants to play baseball? Watch sports. Oh, he doesn't want to watch sports. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. So, let me see. Let me... Put these walls down. Okay, so... Oh, he wants to chat with with left. It's kind of cute. That's cute. Okay, um... Classic painting. A uh, large classic painting. We gotta live our life living right. And the right, right way is with the right brain's might. Oh, 
Why am I yawning so much? Oh, look at that. Someone's making a pretty painting. You, you gonna, like, make something nice? The game's gonna say it's horrible, but I... I've seen this painting multiple times, and I think it's actually the cutest painting in the world. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Like, this painting here is the cutest painting ever, because you got a cute little kitty in the sky, and then you got a dog over here. The sweet little doggo. Do they have work? I mean, I don't know if they do. Um, well, he's a matchmaker, and he has work in 23 hours. And that means that, um, left probably also has work at that time. Yep, 23 hours. Aw, oh, he has to go to the bathroom. I think I did a pretty good job designing this apartment, though. It's got pretty much everything that anybody would need. A good-sized kitchen, a nice living room area, a bar, barbecue, an area for them to paint. I mean, like... This seems like a pretty well-balanced area. Um, it seems like left has to go to the bathroom, though. Should I consider getting them exercise equipment? I mean, to be honest, I don't think they actually need it. Okay, let's have you use the bathroom. And, I mean, I figure after all of this, hmm, I figure after he uses the bathroom, they relax, they could, they could go and take a trip to Starbucks and, like, just, I don't know, do whatever. Like, maybe they'll meet a girl there. Okay, um... But left definitely has to go to the bathroom. What about you, right? Do you have to go to the bathroom? It seems like most of your needs are filled except for being social. Which is totally a you thing. I mean, come on. That is so right, brain. Okay, so we're gonna change your clothes. Because when you leave, you can't go out in your PJs. My dude, you will be noticed by people in the wrong way. <laughs> so let's get him out of his PJs, get him into his normal outfit. He's like, he's, he's feeling the romance coming on. <laughs> Why are you feeling flirty? Is it because you know I'm going to take you to Starbucks and you're going to meet all those pretty girls? Unless you're thinking about doing stuff with Mr. <laughs> Left Brain, which would be horrible. Oh, come on! Do not flirt with the other side of you. God, why are you so flirty? Like, like, poor Left, he's just like, I'm, I'm just kind of okay. And he's like, mm, just give me some of that glasses. Just give me some of that booty. Just give me that, just give me that. I want it, and I need it, and I need it now. Yeah, I need to get them out of here. They're gonna just, like, end up getting with each other. <laughs> okay, so, um... Let's have them travel. Travel, travel, travel. I gotta travel. Travel to the Starbucks. Travel, travel. Travel, travel, travel. Yeah, like... They, they they were pretty cool with Catherine, but I guess she wasn't quite their cup of tea. Catherine is the girl from Delightful. My save for uh, left brain, right brain is also the save that I use for my um, 
YouTubers, Sims. Which I kind of feel I should have put my occult Sims on here as well. Because, I mean, like, all this craziness happened to my save file. Which I'm pretty sure it happened because of an issue with um, my mods. Because I don't think it has anything to do with the um, update. I think what happened was is that the uh, update broke my mods. And my mods are all, because my mods are all screwed up. There are like issues where it's corrupting things. Hopefully I'm able to fix the issue, but for the time being, I guess it's whatever. I'll just continue doing other things that I had planned on doing. Maybe even possibly using this as motivation to go back to the original series I was working on. Are you going to work for me? Are you going to work for me? I I, I, I was going to say I've... I'll get back to you when the lag's done. But I guess the lag decided to stop being a weenie. And I don't know why we have to do this when Starbucks is right near us. But, like, we have to click onto it. <laughs> so, I am at the Starbucks. And I got super excited the first time I filmed this because... I saw BG Mike came into here, and then a few of the other Sims that I've made has come into here. Hellbent is dressed horribly. Oh God, I I made him before I got seasons, so he doesn't have a warm weather outfit. And then like, you got Catherine here, which I thought was kind of cute. It's like we keep on running into her. Maybe she might be the one. There's something about her. I just can't describe it. Tits. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna grab some coffee. Uh, Diego's here, freaking serial killer. Uh, but he's just like looking forward to, you know, railing everyone here. He's like. Mmm. The guy in the pink's kind of cute. And we got Mira X Mira here. She's just like, she's like, she wanted to get a coffee break. We got some of my other Sims here. Keisha, she's like super, she's super cute. I love her. I mean, she's one of my more pretty Sims, I would say. Um. Let's see. We got. This guy here, Quinn Madox, he's pretty cool. Um, he's This guy's actually one of the uh, kids that I made forever ago, which I'm just, like, kind of shocked at how well he turned out. I mean, like, I haven't even been on this family in forever. And he doesn't look bad. Like, he doesn't dress badly. His hair looks okay. I mean, it's still pretty Maxis-C, but it's not bad. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna have them get some coffee. Oh, poor coffee lady. I had to adjust the lighting in the game because, like, there, something about the lighting was just off. I mean, I don't remember it being so bright. This lady's kind of not attractive. But, like, we're already waiting for the barista. Everyone's just, like, going wild here. They just all want coffee at the same time. Like, you wouldn't have thought so many people would come to get coffee now. Jeez, this woman, she's got, she's got tits for days. Her name is Ava Bins. Bzz, bzz, bzz. And she's an adult. It's like the two of them are just, like, trying to avoid looking at Catherine, even though she's clearly here. <laughs> oh, God. I was just like, that, uh, she might be the one they fight over. Because, like, come on. 
She's been at pretty much every place they've been to. <laughs> I mean, like, could you imagine delightful being with the left or the right brain? Could you? I mean, come on. <laughs> this girl is simply delightful. Oh, God. Uh, okay, okay. Just toss me out the window for that one. Okay, so... Instead of waiting for the barista, we'll just grab this coffee here. Like... Wait, okay, this is this person's coffee. Um... Wait for barista, I guess, uh... Can give a flirty introduction. No, no, no. We, we, we gotta, we gotta be a gentleman for at least a little bit. Order, drink order for here. We're gonna have, um... We could have an espresso. <laughs> oh god, that's beautiful. I think it's a joke on how people pronounce espresso. Or possibly it's a really fast done espresso. And then this one says Mexicano. It's no, no, Americano, like America. I don't know. I I can't decide on which one do I want. And I love this one. It's called Perfect Pre Work Shot. Uh, then we got the barista's recommendation. Which is probably whatever the cheapest coffee coffee is. And then they'll charge a ton for it. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have Mercano. Mercano! It's like, I, I would like an Americano. So please give me my Mercano. Where's Catherine? Did she leave? She probably left because there's so many people here. No, wait. She's behind the counter. Damn it. You guys just like, you're persistent. She's just like, I want my coffee. I want my scones. I want everything. This poor barista. I feel so bad for her. This cafe really does need another barista. Like, like, look how crazy this is. Imagine if a real Starbucks was like this. It would be horrible. <laughs> Who's the one who ordered this croissant? Was it you, Hellbent? Who ordered the croissant? Come on, someone fess up. It's okay to eat a croissant. Oh, of course it was you, left frayed. It's like, I am efficient, and I will order my food fast. But Catherine's not efficient, and she enjoys taking her time to wait for things. Because if it's a good thing, she'll enjoy what comes out of that. I mean, that's how she designed her dolls. I mean, they kind of look like they would make a cute couple, too. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm kind of rooting for Righty here. Because, like, they look like they would make a cute couple. Did you order this? Or did you just take someone's food? Okay. Um, what is that, anyway? So, there's, like, this chocolate bread. It's kind of cute. Seems like a, a right brain thing to order. Aw. You're like, I should see if I could get Catherine to come and join, like, join me at the table. Like, maybe I could even order her some coffee. I mean, that might, like, that might be a right brain thing to do. I mean, it's romantic. And right brain is all about getting all that woman. Hmm. Where's left? Oh, he's just like sitting here by himself. I mean, hopefully he he can get someone to sit with him. 
They're right and left, they just kind of split up. Catherine, come on. Come on, girl. Join me. Is she going to do it? Oh my god. Oh god, 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 god. Yes, sit. Sit, my dear. Sit. Yeah, like, I'm not controlling her. She's doing this on her own. <laughs> oh my god. The cuteness is gonna start. Oh my god. Like, I'm pretty sure... She, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I get the feeling that she likes being around him. It w it's kind of cool. It's kind of cute, too. It's like, oh my god. And now that the Starbucks is getting less crowded, it won't be so bad. Like, this is like practically a, a little mini date for them. Oh my god, it's so cute! But like, there, there's still hope for, uh, for Left over here. Nobody's sat with him, but... I mean, he doesn't need to get with Catherine to have a successful life. He could even find love with somebody else. Because the rule of my challenge is, is whoever has a successful life first. So he could, in fact, just full on just find somebody else. Oh, come on. Don't be getting all flirty. Around... Oh, I think they like each other. I think they like each other. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Let's uh let's try to see if we can confirm that. Let's uh let's be friendly. Let's let's try romance. Let's try for romance. Um let's flirt a little. Aww. I don't know. I kind of think they, they're cute together. But I mean, like, part of uh, Right Brain's thing is, I don't, I don't know, I kind of think he shouldn't be with her because he has to be with... The way I made, set up the challenge is he has to be with more than one person before he decides who's the one. So maybe... He could flirt a little bit with her and then maybe with somebody else and then try f with somebody else and then see if that worked out. And if it doesn't, then he would get with uh, with Catherine here, which I think it would they would be so cute together. <laughs> like part of Wright's challenge is that he does have to actually try to play the market so that he can find the one for him. And I mean, like, him and Catherine would be so cute together. I don't know. Hmm. Kyoko's a nice, strong woman as well. Wait, is another barista coming? God, he is such a weird-looking man. Okay, we got Sierra here. She's got uh, her her pineapple shirt. It's suddenly pineapples. Um, we got Will Septic Eye, one of the many Jack Septic Eye children. Jenna Septic Eye. Okay, okay. No more distractions. Okay, back to left, back to left, my dude. I, I, I also have to control you a little bit. Okay, so you have to win people over as well. Maybe you can win people over with your brains. Um, like, let's talk to this girl. Um, we'll do a friendly interaction. I, w I wish, I kind of wish there was like a neutral interaction for people to speak. Wait, what are you doing? 
Why'd you turn the news on? That is such a left brain thing to do. Okay, there we go. It's like, hello there, I like books. Okay, um, let's... Or maybe I could have him talk to Amira. Um, Amira! Let's have you have a friendly interaction. And then we got, like, Biju Mike here. Is he, is he, is, he's talking to himself, I think. Yeah, he's, he's talking to himself. Oh, Mike, you're so weird. And Amira walked away from left because, you know, left is just kind of boring, I guess. <laughs> oh, God, he's, ta he's watching politics. Yeah, that is such a left brain thing. Like, left, come on, my dude. You're boring, people. Okay, uh, I, I guess we'll, um... Oh, she just, she went up from behind him and she was like, Hey, you want to chat? And he's like, nope, watching politics. <laughs> God. Oh, God. I, I, I think right's gonna get you, dude. If not for that trying to find the right one thing rule, he probably would have already gotten you with the trying to get a girl thing. I mean, look at this. He's already so close with Catherine. And she, she's a cutie patootie, I'm gonna tell you that. She's a cutie patootie. And it's just like, Mike's here and he's like talking to himself. I don't know. I love this Starbucks. I love it. Like, all my sims just gather in one spot, and they're just, like, chilling. I mean, a lot of people tell me that I, I probably shouldn't have so many sims in my population. But I don't know. I, I love the idea of having all these sims in one place just hanging out. And all those people were lined up because, like, it's more of my fault than anything. Because, like... Like, I, I I didn't really work on trying to fix these Starbucks locations. But yeah, like, I might actually end this here because, like, I, I, I think that my dudes met two of their goals. I mean, like, he's doing pretty left brain things. And right brain is doing right brain things. And who's this? Who is this pretty lady before I go? And this woman is Nancy Landgrab. <laughs> God damn it, Nancy. I did a good job with you. I did an amazing job with you. You do not look like an old woman at all. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Oh god, I'm, I'm okay. I'm gonna just like, you guys are gonna toss me out a window. I just know it. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content. And I love you guys. Stay awesome. Bye bye. Mwah. I just want to say thank you to all you guys for being so supportive. Um, I'm gonna have to say that I am probably gonna have to end some of my series, which would be sad. So I'm gonna try to my best to still do them. Because I had some issues with the save file that had at least three series on it. And I don't know. Anyway, I still want to thank you guys for being so incredibly awesome and being supportive through all of this. So here's to you, Jazz to Chameleon, Potato underscore a bunch of numbers, EDCC finds, Cute Girl Sim, Calorie underscore Akins, Malunix5, Carissa Sims, Benjamin G Y T, bunch of numbers. Laura, bunch of numbers. E J Black Dove, Trippy D, Ray of Sunshine X One, Sonic Jenny, Shifty, Kaleida Sims, Prismatic Simmer, Sims Lena, and Stray Shadow Cat. Here's to the people who are just always awesome, no matter who they are, what they are, 
and what they identify as. Love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Mwah.